Back into the action here as Vince Hutchins will be taking on Makai Simmons. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the cage, Makai Simmons. Hey. Coming to the cage out of the Live Right gym, it is Makai Simmons. He is making his mixed martial arts debut, but he is no stranger here into this world. As the former wrestler says, I have got what it takes to beat the much more seasoned Vince Hutchins. Yeah, anytime you come from a competitive wrestling background, and I might be a little biased there, it's gonna give you an edge in competition and mindset. He's gonna have confidence coming in here, but first time in the cage is always a nerve wracking experience. He has been training since he was in seventh grade and now at 18 looks to make the jump into the cage and says that he looks to chain his techniques together and make this fight work. And his opponent, Vince Hutchins. Making his way to the cage, it is Vince Hutchins out of Robbins MMA in Springfield, Illinois. Now this 33 year old says this camp went to work on the wrestling. It has to be the way it is. Because of his opponent being such a predominant wrestler, he says that's all I needed to work on. Other than that, I was ready to go for this fight. Hey, he's He's garnered a lot of experience already, has Vince Hutchins, especially here for Shamrock FC. Just another, another chance to up his game in camp. Now, let's take a look at our tail of the tape. Vince Hutchins, 33 years old, 5'8", 134.6 pounds. Makai Simmons, only 18 years old, 5'6", 133.2 pounds. Let's see how this one goes. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for three rounds in the Shamrock Fighting Championships Bantamweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the Metro PCS Blue Corner, a mixed martial artist that stands five feet six inches tall. He weighed in officially at 133.2 pounds. Fighting out of Fairview Heights, Illinois, Makai Simmons. Across the cage, his opponent, fighting out of the Metro PCS Red Corner. This mixed martial artist stands five feet, nine inches tall. He weighed in officially at 134.6 pounds. Fighting out of Springfield, Illinois, Vince Hutchins. <laughs> Referee Mark Wassum has the call for this fight. Vince Hutchins in the red tape, Makai Simmons in the blue. Man, I tell you what, right off the page jumps that there is a level of intensity here. I mean, these guys. There was a lot of trash talk here at the weigh-ins last night. Vince Hutchins, though, at one point in time was fighting for our title, and now Makai Simmons wants to make this name for himself, so he said, I'm gonna do it on the back of Vince Hutchins. Yeah, hey. Get to the top, easiest way to get to the top, fight the people that have already been there. Absolutely. Big shot there coming out of Hutchins. Yeah, Hutchins is doing a good job pummeling inside, getting those double underhooks, and he fired off a couple of really good knees. Trying to slow the pace down here a bit. Nice flurry there, though, coming out of Simmons. Hutchins moves in, big double leg taken down here by Makai Simmons. Yeah, that's why you don't rush in on a guy with any kind of extensive wrestling background. He timed that level change out perfect and just airmailed Hutchins. Now they're looking a little bit of a front headlock. Good work by Hutchins to get back to his feet though. Maintain kind of a front headlock position, used it to pop up. Very good, he's done his wrestling homework yeah, this that, camp. That is definitely showing the veteran status here of Vince Hutchins. Now he's looking to wear on him a little bit. Reshot there. Oh, looking for another slam, comes out the back door and a big shot on the way down too. I tell you this, Makai Simmons is here to fight, buddy. Vince Hutchins opening it up from the bottom though, nice transition into an arm bar. Vince looking to finish this fight. 
Big slam coming, not always the best way no. to do it though. Sometimes you can release it with that, but other times you can tighten up. Good quick transition from Vince Hutchins out of the bottom though. Very impressed with that, that armbar attempt. Yeah, looking good. They're nice jujitsu coming out of the Robbins MMA prospect and Vince Hutchins now kind of looking for a, a side headlock here. That head and arm position though is never good against a wrestler. No, no, usually they're, they're gonna find a way to squirm out of it, but I <laughs> stand corrected that last fight. So I turned into a neck crank. Big oh. right hand out of Hutchins. You know what I liked about that too, Jeremy? He went to the body a couple times, hit the body a couple times, and then boom, went right upstairs, uh, disengaging out of that clinch. Makai starting to fight with his chin a little higher and starting to eat some punches because of it. You know, and that's because Hutchins is beating up his body. Punching him the body, knee him the oh, body. Oh, that one hurt him. That, that hurt one him. hurt him bad. Yep. I think he already softened his body up and damaged him a little bit, either with the punches or knees, so that one. Hutchins knows it, too. He is really working that body from this position. He's ripping his shots. mckay has got 15 seconds to try to survive here and then hopefully recover in between rounds. Again, to the body, big knee out of Hutchins, controlling that arm position. Makai trying to grind here, not doing much as the round ends. Great round. Ryan, how do you see that one? I honestly have... No idea, and I'm really glad I'm not a judge. There was just a lot that happened in that round. Submission attempts, slams, body shots. I mean, I, I definitely think Hutchins hurt him a little bit more with his shots, but I mean, you gotta equate in some of those big slams that Makai had. Yeah, it, it almost comes down to how the judges see it. Is it damage versus submission attempts? Here, as we go to the Mattingly Lumber instant replay, a nice slam out of it. Hutchins here tries to transition, just gets away and stands up. And now, let's see what Makai comes out looking like. That's what the real test is going to be. You got a guy standing in front of you. He's mean. Everything he throws, he's throwing to hurt you. And you just got beat up to the body a little bit. Probably a little tired. Those first in cage jitters are shaking off, and this is real. So, this is going to be a test here. Second round of this three round contest. Again, Makai Simmons in the blue tape, Vince Hutchins in the red, Jeremy Johnson along with my partner Ryan Sutton here live at River City Casino. Hutchins stalking him down right now. Hutchins also is a, he switches stances quite often, coming straight through the front with that kick. And that's hard to read too when you got a guy that switched stances that can throw power from both ways. Again, big takedown there coming out of Makai Simmons. Beautiful. But Hutchins looking here to elevate, kind of got the half butterfly guard going on. Yeah, Vince Hutchins has he's done his he's done his due diligence as far as groundwork goes. He stood up most every time that he's got taken down. Uh, he's transitioned with those submission attempts. So, yeah, right there he got his opening. He took it, but Makai was firing yeah. shots at him. Yeah, Makai is, is definitely keeping the pressure on him here. Again, trying to take the back now of Hutchins. Yeah, look for Makai to shrug out the back here. Yep, shrugged out the back. He's got back control. Now see if he's going to put some weight down, try to return him to the mat. This is not where Hutchins wants to be at all. No. you Nice sit out there coming out of Makai Simmons, going purely to that wrestling base. Yep. And Hutchins is doing a good job right there controlling that wrist and glove, almost like he was going to try either a uh, key lock or use it to redirect and escape. Now this is the classic wrestler position, underhook, side control. Working the position here. Hutchins trying to get back to half guard, does well, sits back into full guard now, nice move there. Yeah, good, good hips. And this is where Makai needs to use that wrestling base. He needs to be heavy on top, not give him space to transition, not give him space to kick out, float up. Yeah. Here we oh. go again, we see a potential triangle coming out of Hutchins, nice transition into this position. That's another reason that wrist control was so important. It let him set this up. He kept that wrist, kept that wrist. Once he saw his opening, boop, pushed it out and threw this triangle up. But he's gotta reach up and grab his shin to pull it in. Makai does a nice one of sitting back on the position there. Ground a pound, oh, almost thought he was gonna go for a leg lock there. Big shots from Makai Simmons. That's big ground and pound. Simmons is loading up from the back and throwing them all the way through here. Up kicks coming out of Hutchins, trying to get a stand up. Patient, yeah, Makai's not having none of it. He's 
He wants to stay on top, but ends up in full guard, not where he wanted to be in that position. Nope. He needs to follow the hips of Hutchins right now. Because as you see, Hutchins will throw up triangles, arm bars, he'll throw up a lot from the bottom. He's got to follow those hips. Hutchins working a higher open guard here, trying to make a switch or looking for a potential sweep. And that's where those transitions come right there, Jiu Jitsu 101. Again, straight into potential arm lock here, working the rubber guard position. Man. Now, I see that round much closer there coming out for Makai Simmons. I actually I could almost see this one one to one. I could, I could definitely see this one to one. I give that round to Makai too. I mean, that beautiful double leg. He maintained top position for quite a while in that round. And that vicious, vicious ground and pound too. And don't forget all of our viewers on Facebook right now, if you would like to continue all of this action, head over to flowcombat.com or the Flow Sports app on your Roku or Apple TV 4 and join us for the rest of Shamrock FC 305. Man, that was a beautiful double leg. Just timed it out perfect. Cut the corner. Now, and this is where Hutchins has to make adjustments now. <laughs> Hutchins has to make those adjustments, not stalk forward, maybe cut the corners on the outside a little bit more. Third and final round here in this contest. This very well could be one to one. It, it's all gonna come down to that first round and who wants this one more? Quick oh. touch of the gloves back into the action here. Vince Hutchins takes the center of the cage. Yeah, and both guys look pretty fresh. I mean, they're not acting like it's been a three round war yet. Again, more knees to the body. Nice outside trip there coming out of Makai Simmons. Again, wrestling 101. Hey, wrestling, but I was also gonna give a uh, little judo props yeah, there. Yeah, I was gonna give judo props to my man Jeremy. I'm waiting for Hutchins, nice stand up there. I'm waiting for you to show me some of those tricks. We'll make it happen, my friend. Okay. Man, a lot of intensity. Even everything these guys are throwing, they're yeah, just. They are throwing to finish here with body shots. Yeah. Hutchins again tanks up with a nice left and then a right combo. Yeah. H Big catch there though coming out of Hutchins. Will he be able to use it? Nice kick. Elevation there coming out of Makai. Rolling for a potential leg lock, yeah. but starts to eat the ground and pound. This is not where Makai Simmons wants to be at all. Nope. And that's why in MMA, even if you've got wrestling experience, you never want to throw. A, la a lazy kick. You never want to just leave that kick out there. No, moves into a scarf lock position here is Vince Hutchins. Yeah, because th this is not where Makai Simmons wants to be. Simmons potentially giving up his back. Nice move to get out of that position. Good scramble. Really good scramble. Rotate it, got his space, and then right back up. He's eaten one, though. That one seemed to hurt him a little bit. Yeah, and I... You can see since his, his hips and his hips and legs are so far back, that's me saying, hey, I don't want to eat any more of those knees. No, attempts the inside trip. They're not able to get it. Hutchins saw that one coming all day long. Yep, telegraphed it. Makai's got him pushed up against the cage, though. If he shrugs off the back here, could make it in a tough Makai looking to move here, but we see Vince Hutchins working a Kimura. Yep, yep, he's working that. Nice to a straight arm lock. That's where having the flexibility of a 19-year-old pays exactly. off. Exactly. Us older gentlemen would have issues there. That uh, would, uh, would just not be fun. Hutchins are working the hip position, but this is not where he wants to be with only 47 seconds left in the third and final round. No, that was a pretty crucial takedown to give up. He, uh, he has to either make a big move to get up, Oh, nice up kick. Oh, right there. Makai lets him up. Almost dangerously close to kicking the downed opponent there, though. 30 seconds remaining here in the fight. Makai Simmons trying to make a name off Vince Hutchins. Has he done enough? Will it go to the judges' scorecards again as Hutchins plays the rubber guard game? Looking for that triangle again. Yeah, and Hutchins is still firing from the bottom. He's throwing short shots. He's throwing up submissions. 10 seconds. Makai's throwing everything he's got. Oh, Eats it. one, though, as he gets up. Wow. What a fight. Ryan, how do you see this one? Man, that is a war. I think that first round is the, the first round is what's going to be the big telltale of this. I mean, that's a hard, hard fight to score, Jeremy. I'm glad I'm sitting in the booth 
and not with a judge's pen and paper. Both of these fighters leaving everything in the cage. Oh, they really did. I mean, they, they gave it their all. Again, don't forget to join us if you want to keep the action going over at flowcombat.com or join us on Roku and Apple TV 4 with the Flow Sports app as we go to the Mattingly Lumber instant replay. A good Muay Thai trip there. Yep. And here Sets it up, works the back position. He's able to move out of this very well, though I thought he was going to go for the leg lock, but instead just kind of straight rolls out of it. Yep. And what you're seeing right now in the corner is complete, complete exhaustion from Akai Simmons. That adrenaline just wore down and everything started to start to give. It starts to unwind. Vince Hutchins making his way over and talking to Shamrock FC Jesse Finney. I think that he's uh, looking for a, another title shot if he yep. wins this one. Yep. He's looking, he's always looking for a fight. That's that's one thing you gotta love about Vince Hutchins. And Vince Hutchins looks like he could go another couple of rounds. He does, good conditioning, good cardio. But let's see if that explosiveness of Makai Simmons was just too much on the scorecards. So let's send this one up to the cage to Joe Parisi to give us our results. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards where we have a split decision. Your winner this evening comes out of the blue corner, Makai Simmons. Big win there for Makai Simmons. Now let's talk about the split decision. I think that the split was exactly what we said. I think that a lot of the judges were probably seeing that explosiveness, the takedowns, the top control, that ground and pound from Makai Simmons. And I think probably some of the other judges saw the damage that Vince Hutchins was trying to inflict on him every time he was beating him up to the body with the knees and throwing up those submissions. Beautiful fight, but we have more to come. As coming up next, it is a women's kickboxing bout, so stay with us right here at Shamrock FC 305.